Can you hear that? That's plant music. I'm Regina Orchard. These are my friends, Priscilla the prayer plant and Ellie the peace lily. We're here today to take you on a journey to discover music from plants. When we're in nature, we feel good. We're feeling the vibrations or the frequencies from the plants. With this instrument, which clips onto a leaf and connects into the soil, we're taking, we're creating a biofeedback circuit and translating those frequencies from the plants into musical notes. So right now, <laughs> you're hearing Priscilla. She has full control of the music. She changes the volume. She can change the tone and start and stop. So anything can happen. I'm not in control here today. So let's stop and listen for 30 seconds to Priscilla and see how you feel. That's how I felt the first time I heard music from a plant. My heart opened up so strongly and I cried. And six years later, I am still enthralled. Plant music began in the 70s in Italy. It's the result of decades of experimentation and discovery. After a plant plays, often, and it's after it's played and heard by people, it often glows and it grows more healthy and stronger. The benefits for people is very much like being in nature. Many times I have seen people, perhaps like you are now, I can't see you, but relaxing and becoming calmer, hearing the music. Plants, plants very much work at their own speed, their own pace. So it can help us often to slow down, to connect with them better. We're going to turn Ellie on now. She's playing in the voice of a piano and we'll see. Aha. Yes, we should hear her. Oh. Maybe she's not a piano today. So let's listen to their duet for a short while.
often been very curious about what's possible. I have been asked to do many things, including yell at plants and even hurt them. One person wanted me to dip a flower into boiling water and I wasn't keen, but eventually I agreed. The plant was playing normally and then it turned into a horrible high-pitched scream. So very much like a person, I don't want to hear that one again. So other kinder things to do is um, explore plants of all different sizes in different locations, different varieties. And interestingly, believe it or not, plants respond to poetry, to dance, and to our, our emotions. When my grandson started school, he took me and the plants for show and tell. There were 40 young children seated around a big mat. We were on the other side with the teacher and she organised to start with some of the children to do star jumps and the music became more lively. Then they all sang sadly and this flowering cyclamen, its music slowed down and became quieter. To finish, all the children sang cheerfully and they sent love from their hearts to the flower, to the plant. And never before or since have I heard that plant sing such incredibly beautiful, rich, melodic music. Thank you so much to our two plants for playing for us today. They're not keen to stop. What's happening? They love to play. When we're in nature, people and the plant kingdom have always been deeply intertwined. People and plants supporting each other daily. Is it like that for you still? Let's imagine we are in a forest, a small forest down in Red Hill because we're going to hear a massive grandfather tree, over 200 years old, a giant. So let's... Welcome back from your plant music journey. What do you feel or notice? I'd love to know. Is your view of nature, of plants, is it changing even a little? For me, those are the two keys, our inner experiences and our connections with the plants. So now you know a little more about plant music. You can watch out for exciting um, developments in this emerging field. And to get you started, here's uh, our final gift for the day, which is a new music genre, interspecies music. 
people and plants collaborating and playing music together. Can you imagine being at one of those concerts? Thank you.